hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to be doing another stacking cap look seeing that you guys love this look so much i'm going to be using the milky way 28 pieces and the 8 inch straight hair to create this look i've already itemized like everything that i use so you guys could just go ahead screenshot so you could follow along with this video as to exactly how i was able to create this look once i'm using each particular product i will let you know right then and there exactly why is it that i'm using it so that you won't be confused it makes no sense i don't think for me to tell you right now as to why everything is here but you'll see along this video as long as you watch it exactly why i use what i use and when i use it so here i'm using the wrap strip i'm using this to completely protect any glue from getting onto her hair whether seeping through the cap or just to be placed directly on her hair I need this cap to be completely removable and for it to be a wig where you'll be able to wear it for months to come if you do it with proper care And now that our hair is completely covered, we're going to go ahead and place our stocking cap on. You want to make sure that these caps are not too tight because it will not be comfortable and you'll probably have issues putting it back on. Okay, so now we're going to be using our pump it up spritz. You could also use a got to be spray for this. You just, I just need the, the cap to be a little bit tacky. So once I'm laying my tracks down, it will help the glue to stick easily and more firm as I lay my tracks from side to side I'm just making sure that I'm not laying them on top of each other and my spacing is not too wide and I'm gonna just keep doing this across across until I get to the crown area Once I get to this part, I like to use the straight hair. For me, I just find the 28 pieces to be extremely thin and I like volume. I like the hair to be a little bit more fuller. So I just prefer to go in with straight hair. Um, I guess there are others that do it different, but for me, this is what works. So I like to stick to what works and then the curls last a little bit longer. Yeah, what's not broken, I'm not trying to fix it. This is how I like to do it. This is a method that I found out worked for me. If there's another method that you use, tell me. There's another hair that you use, tell me. But I find this to work perfect for me.
you want to take your time with this part because you don't want your crown area to be you know cone like so i like mine to be closed very neatly and flat i use my chateau flat irons to seal my closure part that i made and i drop it in right there and look you could barely see anything if anything and that's how i like my closure part to look so now we want to make sure that um our cutting technique is on point because this will completely ruin that entire gluing process you just did it would be completely ruined you won't be able to style it properly if it doesn't have a good cut um you want to make sure that you're not going too close to the weft because you do not want it to show or you're going to have to go back in and fill in those blotchy spots. I love cutting because you also want to make sure when the hair is not being curled and you can mold it and literally wear it flat, you know, so cutting is extremely important and you probably want to take some advanced glasses, which I do have those if you're interested you could let me know i'll also try to drop the link where you could do further classes with me if you choose to Here I use the Nairobi foam to wrap the hair. I want to make sure that the hair is completely flat. I want to make sure that I'm placing it in the direction as in where I wanted it to go. As you can see with the fresh cut, it was, you know, it's spiked here, it's spiked there. I just want to make sure that it's completely molded as if it was your hair. I also use the wrap strip to keep my mold in place secured her and placed her under the dryer. She was under the dryer for about 35, 40 minutes until she was completely dry. Okay, so this is the mold fresh from under the dryer. So I decided to go in and curl it. These are my new mini irons. You could find them on my website. It is on shannysnaturalbeauty.com. I will make sure that I drop the link. And just for my YouTube family, shh, don't tell nobody, just for you guys, if you put in the code YouTube, you'll get 10% off any of my flat irons code youtube this is only for you people so and the only way you will know this and the only way you won't trick yourself out your spot is if you had completely listened to this entire video so use code youtube to get the discount
And this, my YouTube family, is the finale. Look at that. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. I went in, I did some touch-ups, clean it up, trim a little bit around. And, but overall, I was satisfied with the look. I hope you guys love it. I love creating it. And my beautiful sister rocks it as per usual. And because you guys love her so much, I had to double back with another cap. This time a little bit more volume. Tell me how you guys feel. Do you prefer this look or the other one? And I will attach the first video that I did with her that you guys love so much. And then you could you could let me know. So A will be the first video. B would be this video. So if you guys love video A or video B, comment below. Let me know. I had fun. Hope to see you guys soon in another video. I'll be dropping them more often, at least once a week or once every other week. I will not disappear, go MIA on you guys no more. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you feel like I add value to you, your styling techniques. If I give you anything, if you feel like it, subscribe. And if you feel like I will be of value to somebody else that you know, you could tag them in this video. You could send it to them. You could share. Love you. See you in my next video. Until next time, sleep pretty, my friends.